to lesson 21, my daily routine. Yes, let's look at the kind of things that we do every day. Maybe those things are a little boring because we do them every day, but we still have to do them. Now that's a routine. Yes, routine. 每一天同时间要做的事情就是叫routine. Now, let's look at today's first conversation. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. Time for lunch. Hey, where are you going to go for lunch? My regular restaurant. I always eat at the same restaurant. You know me. My daily routine doesn't change. Isn't it kind of dull? I'm familiar with the menu, so it's easy to go there. What are you going to do for lunch? Oh, I don't know. I like to try new places. So, I don't know where I'll go for lunch today. Now, let's take a closer look at some of those new words. Daily. 每天. Daily. We can also say weekly, 每个星期, or monthly, 每个月, or yearly, 每一年, daily, dull, 无聊, dull, familiar, 熟悉, familiar. Now, for our second conversation, we're going to take a look at David's daily routine. I get up at 6.30. Next, I wash my face. I put on my clothes. And next, I eat breakfast. I leave home at 7.15. And I take a bus to my office. Now, let's take a closer look at some of those new words. Get up. Qi Tuang. Get up. Now, in a previous lesson, you heard take off. Well, the opposite of take off is put on. Chuan, put on. Now the last word is take a da. You could say take a bus or take a train. Take a. Notice also how we use some words to show how something happens step by step. 
I said, first I, then I, next I. So first, then, and next are words we use to show how something happens step by step. OK, now it's your turn to join our program and try using some of those new words. Now it's your turn to join our program and remember to say those missing words. Well, I'm going to tell you about my daily routine. First, I get up and then I put on my clothes. Now, I'm going to eat breakfast. After eating breakfast, I leave my home and I take a bus to work. Is my routine exciting? Uh, no, David's routine is very... Uh, dull. Well, how about your daily routine? You can say, first I, then, well, why don't you try that on your own? And we're going to continue to see what David does in the rest of his routine. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. Thank you. Bye. I work at the office until 12.30. Oh, thank you. Then I take a break for lunch. After eating lunch, I have uh, 10 minutes for a nap. <sighs> then I work again from one thirty to five. At five o'clock, I finish my work. Then I leave the office and take the bus home. <sighs> well, I get home at about 6.30 and my wife prepares dinner. I hope. After dinner, I wash the dishes. Oh, then I watch TV. And finally, I go to bed.
Let's take a closer look at some more new words. Break, 休息 break, nap, 小睡 nap, prepare, 准备 prepare, go to bed, 上床睡觉 go to bed. And again, there are some more words that we use to show how things happen in time. The words after, until, and finally. Again, these are words we can use to show how something happens step by step. After I do this, finally. I do this. When you explain how something happens, like in your daily routine, you need to use those kinds of words. Let me tell you about my daily routine. Every day, I get up at six o'clock, and I get ready to go to work. My home is in the suburbs, but my office is downtown. So every day, I must leave my home and go downtown to my office. I am a commuter, and I must leave my home at quarter after seven. Let's. Oh, mmm! I better get going. Oh, boy! Bum bum ba dum bum bum. Well, here I am at the bus stop. Waiting for my bus to go downtown to my office. It's the rush hour now, so it's very crowded, and I know I won't get a seat on the bus. I will work until six o'clock tonight, and then I'll take a bus in the rush hour again back home. And I won't get a seat on the bus, but that's the life of a commuter. Hey, there's my bus. I get home at eight o'clock. I eat dinner, I read, and then I go to bed, and that's my daily routine. <sighs> But on Sunday, I have a break from my routine, and I just. Take it easy.、Ugh. Now let's take a closer look at some of those new words: suburb, 郊区 suburb, downtown, 市区 downtown. Commuter, 通勤者 Commuter. Rush hour, 尖峰时间 Rush hour. Crowded, 拥挤 Crowded. Now it's your turn to join our program. Oh, I live in Shilin, so my home is in the suburbs. But I work on Nan. 
Nanjing East Road, Section Three. So my office is in downtown. Every day I have to travel from Shirley to Nanjing East Road, Section Three. So I'm a commuter. From six o'clock to eight o'clock in the evening, it is called the rush hour. During the rush hour, the buses are very crowded. But if I can find a seat, I usually take a. Nap. Oh. Because I get home at nine o'clock, I'm very tired. By ten o'clock, I'm very very tired. At ten thirty, I go to bed. Now it's time for our story. This story is called "A Special Trip." As you remember from Lesson Eleven to Twenty, we saw the story of Albert and Gloria. Well, in this story, we have Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Before we watch our story. Let's look at some of those new words. Exactly. 不多不少。怎？像七点整。Exactly. Yard. 院子。Yard. Elephant. 大象。Elephant. I hope you enjoy our new story. Our story begins in the suburbs, in the apartment of Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Mr. and Mrs. Brown have a routine which is exactly the same every day. Some people. May think it is dull to follow the same daily routine every day, every week, every month, every year. But not Mr. and Mrs. Brown. They are very familiar with their routine, and they like. Their routine. Mr. Brown gets up at exactly six forty-five every morning. He washes his face, puts on his clothes, and goes into the kitchen at exactly seven o'clock. 
He drinks exactly half a glass of milk, and eats two pieces of bread for his breakfast. After his breakfast, he puts on his coat. And leaves his home at exactly seven twenty-five every day. Because he's a commuter, Mr. Brown takes a bus downtown every day in the rush hour, and works all day at his office. Mrs. Brown gets up at exactly seven thirty-five every day. After eating breakfast, she does housework. Until exactly twelve thirty, then she eats lunch and takes a nap in the afternoon. She gets up at five thirty and prepares dinner. Mr. Brown gets home at exactly seven thirty. After they eat dinner, Mr. and Mrs. Brown watch TV until exactly ten thirty. When they go to bed. Only Sunday is different. On Sunday, instead of going to the office, Mr. Brown reads the newspaper, and instead of taking a nap, Mrs. Brown reads the newspaper too. So, life for Mr. and Mrs. Brown might have followed the same daily routine forever, except that one Sunday afternoon they heard a strange sound. Students, that's all for lesson twenty-one. Um, but but lovely. Um, yeah.
Yes. You, you know, lesson 21 is about daily routines, uh -huh. and we don't know anything about your daily routine. Why don't you tell the students about your daily routine? Yeah, that, okay, that's great. Well, students, uh, I get up at 10 o'clock, <laughs> and then I have a big breakfast, um, and then um, I go out shopping, and um, at about uh, 12 o'clock, I have lunch. After lunch, I usually take a long nap. <laughs> kind of get tired, you know, eating so much. And then after my nap, it's time for my 2 o'clock tea time. After I have my 2 o'clock tea, then I go shopping some more. Uh, <laughs> and lovely. Uh, yes. Your, your daily routine is all sleeping, eating, and shopping. Yeah. Don't you think that's exciting? No. You told me my routine was very dull. I think your routine is dull. Oh, I think it's just different for men and women. Mm, maybe. Well, I hope you enjoy your daily routine, whatever it is. Bye-bye.